They say podcasts are going to replace books. I don't know about that. But I do think TRS clips will assist your learning process. There's another topic that people wonder about a lot nowadays. And that's the topic of astrology and astrological charts and uh, cosmic influences on our lives. Yes. Uh, and it's something that I've laughed at again in the past that, oh, you know, all this is not real, etc. And I've just come to realize that there is some logic behind it. Yes. And I've got into reading about it as well. Yes. You know, and, and be it like the Western school of thinking, which talks about sun signs, be it the Indian Egyptian astrological charts, which talk about Rahu, Ketu and all these things. They are all linked. They are all uh, kind of connected from a sort of... Uh, 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 scientific perspective almost like the mathematics of all of them are the same mm. but lots of people don't understand it mm. and after we've spoken about meditation willpower etc i'd love for you to kind of give people a briefing on where your astrological charts have an influence on your reality of life mm. for example you know when they have 12 houses of astrology and one's supposed to represent your personality one represents your married life one represents your career etc etc um a lot of times that could be true if it's read out by like a high level astrologer, you know, someone who knows their stuff, yes. he'll or she will say some very accurate things about you. Yes. And that's how people even get into astrology. Yes. My understanding is that all of this melts away when you get into your sadhana or meditation. But I would love to hear it from your perspective. And how much truly melts away? <laughs> you know, that's the other. Depends angle. on the individuals. Okay. Yeah? So what is the astrological chart? It is something that was prepared a day or two after the baby was born. For most families. Yeah. A child is born and they mm. will get the chart prepared. Child has not done any karma and the destiny chart is prepared. That at the age of 10 this will happen, at the age of 20 this will happen and then we'll get married and then we'll have two children. And at this age it's not going to be very good for 7 years or 5 years. Everything is written down very very clearly. Written on the basis of the child has not done any karma. So if karma creates my destiny, how is it that my destiny chart is prepared before I've done any karma? So obviously because it's the destiny chart of the soul, not the destiny chart of this body. So it has nothing to do with this age. So I, the soul, am in this costume and this is my last minute. I'm about to leave. Till this last minute, my every karma and sanskar is on the soul and I leave the body. I leave everything behind. But the only thing I take with me is my karma and my sanskar. So I will call this last minute as the closing balance sheet. That's your closing balance sheet. The soul enters into the womb of the mother. Couple of months later, a baby is born and the destiny chart is prepared. That is the opening balance sheet. So the opening balance sheet is going to be identical to the closing balance sheet. Mm. Identical yogi, na? Mm. Our 31st March closing balance sheet in India is next day, 1st April, it's the opening balance sheet. So what is in the 31st March closing balance sheet? The way I did business in this financial year. So mm. they could be good, they could be bad, they could be profit, they could be... Low. My every transaction will come there. And now I take this whole bunch of transaction into, I've just changed a costume. For the soul, it's nothing, just another day. But I've changed the costume. So that balance sheet is now the opening balance sheet, which is given to the family two days after the baby is born. What is it based on? It is based on the sanskar and the karma that the soul has come with. Astrology means the science of the influence of the planets on my sanskar. And this I've discussed with an astrologer a very senior one of India. And I said like, I went to him very raw because I would not study this for myself. I've never studied it or seen it. You know, you don't know your own? Mm. Okay. Because I'm sure it's changed. It's not as per what was in the chart. My parents would have known it otherwise. Mm. It's not. And it's changed based on the lifestyle and decisions you made in this life. Yeah, because that was only the opening balance sheet. That is what is very important. What many of us do is keep referring to the opening balance sheet as if that is the way life is going to be. It is the opening balance sheet only based on my yesterday. Yesterday means whatever I've come with. So influence of planets on the sanskar. Meditation is going to melt what? My sanskars. So whatever sanskars change 
in this lifetime for the good or sometimes not for mm. the good so with meditation i can change my sanskar for the good sometimes due to any other influence or my own my sanskar changes towards the other side also the influence of the planet will change and so those predictions where your sanskar has changed will not turn out to be true those predictions where your sanskar has not changed will turn out to be true and so if anyone goes with their astrological chart at whichever age they will see that some things have turned out to be as per in the chart and some things have not turned out to be as per in the chart depending on how much change the soul has created which means did you change your way of doing business in this financial year so somebody can come with profit very good karmas of the past suppose they do not do some good karmas in this their profit balance sheet will now start shifting towards a loss somebody could come with heavy losses but if they do so like meditation or whatever method they choose they start doing good karma good sanskar the balance sheet of this financial year will go towards good profit so the prediction will not always turn out to be it's true. like your default settings which that, can be like that clean. is the beginning setting actually it's not even a default setting it is the beginning it's like okay again now we go back to you last night's meal upset <laughs> stomach i'm sorry i'm using no, it as a good. reference because it's but it's good. making sense the last night's meal upset stomach in the morning no problem last night's karma present consequence if you again go and have a very heavy breakfast now so then you're again doing a similar type of karma which means your sanskar is making you eat mm. you know in spite of learning that it didn't suit me well you are forced to do it through your sanskar because you're not changing your sanskar so if you go and again have something which is not right for your body or you overeat the same consequence is going to come again and then your doctor will say i told you this will happen again they told you based on your sanskar this morning because of what you ate last night but if after what happened today you say okay today i'm going to eat less i'm going to eat light i'm going to eat healthy your destiny is going to change today mm. so you are the creator of your destiny similarly if you take a blood test today let's say and you go to a doctor he'll see your present parameters if my sugar is on the borderline based on my lifestyle and the doctor says okay if you continue like this probably within 6 months or 1 year we are on the borderline of diabetes i come back home that is my destiny chart my blood report and i say oh but what to do i can't change my lifestyle late nights work and i don't have time to exercise victim of my lifestyle then i will definitely get diabetes probably even before the prediction because now i always also have an added stress of my health but if someone comes back and says okay today this change this change this change and this change i never get diabetes in this lifetime so the scientific prediction was true what the doctor said was true but it was based on my today's lifestyle and my today's blood report if i change my lifestyle tomorrow mm so the astrological prediction is only a prediction so the word prediction needs to be underlined it's only a prediction which means it's a probability reality will be decided by the individual but many people will consume the probability and make the reality and make happen. it their reality hmm. so i personally prefer not to consume the probability because why let's create the best of karma and if something has to happen because i've passed consequence we'll face it with dignity yeah. but if the mind consumes information of a probability then many minds are not able to mm. rise above that and create a different reality so astrological prediction is a science of the probability of what can happen in my life based on my current sanskars and the karma that i have come with you start meditation start changing your lifestyle and you will change your sanskar and the probability will be different from what the reality you will create thank you for watching this clip if you want to learn more about this topic we've curated a playlist just for you and here's a link to the whole episode